Kentucky retailers say that there is a revenue shift happening at gas stations and convenience stores. Yeah, as gas prices continue to rise, it might surprise you that for most of these stores, sales at the pump are not as much as sales inside the stores. Now, many of these stores are looking for new ways to get customers in the door. LEX 18's Rachel Richardson is speaking with one store owner who's grateful to have those sales coming from more than one place. That's tonight's big story at 5.30. This gas station and store has been here for decades. Within the last year, Debbie Morris bought this property for her and her family. You know, I, people say, were well, you crazy? <laughs> what made you do this? And, you know, I grew up with a neighborhood store. She created her own. This isn't a typical gas station. This general store also has a restaurant, all just a short drive from the Lexington Airport. Being a smaller shop, Debbie says she works to compete with larger gas chains' prices. And I just got $3,000 gallons last week, it was $12,000 to get 3,000 gallons gallon gas. That's $4,000 more than she paid just a few weeks ago. With so many additional costs like shipping fees, EPAs and gas taxes, Debbie estimates she makes back around 10 cents for every gallon sold. As a little guy, it's really hard for me to play that game and so I, I match. Most other stores rely on other revenue. Leaders at the Kentucky Retail Federation say that these convenience store owners actually rely more on in-store sales than sales at the pumps. It's easy to think that with you know higher gas prices that the convenience store owner and operator is making the you know is making profit off of it. Um, when in reality, gas is, is for a lot of them is a small. Um, component of what their their profit is. Higher prices at the pumps ultimately means less foot traffic in stores. Debbie wants people to know the profit margins are tight. It's not huge. And so and that's why all the pieces of the puzzle between the restaurant, the you know, the the beer sales and then everything else we have here and then the gas, all of that together, you know, hopefully brings you to a profit at the end of the month. <laughs> Stores looking for new ways to fuel revenue in Fayette County, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.